So we have this issue of standards, your thermostat, where it is that you feel comfortable in life, especially financially. Everybody has a different level. Me, it's very, very high. You know, my book, if I'm not making eight, 10 million a year, I'm saying I'm fucking not, I'm, I'm desperate what I do. I'm running a thousand miles an hour to get to that $10 million a year mark. That's it. Other people say, what are you crazy? If I had half a million a year, I'd be thrilled. So what your standards are essentially are the things that you must have in life. So financial standard would be a certain amount of money. An emotional standard might be a certain amount of peace in your life, a relationship with another person, whatever it might be. And there are people with, you know, again, high standards and people with very low standards. The beauty of this room is the fact that you're sitting here means that you already have your standards at almost, if not the highest level. So typically it's not what's holding people in this room back. Other rooms, different. You have high standards. What's holding you back from getting what you want in life is other things. But we're going to hit on standards anyway because I want you to understand the power of it and to make sure that if you ever see yourself sliding back down and dropping your standards for any reason at all, how devastating that could be for you going forward. Because here's what happens. We have a thermostat, right, and it's set for a certain amount of money. Let's say it's for a million dollars a year. And if you go on for a long time, and that's your thermostat, one million, one million, but you can't hit it. Because let's say you're missing something on this persuasion, you're not in the worst it's frankly, you can't sell your way out of a paper bag, so you can't get to this point. After a while, your brain starts saying, fuck this, this, this hurts too much, and you lower your standards. You say, I'll be happy with making $200,000 a year. So you lower your standards, and all of a sudden, if that doesn't work, you lower them again and again, and before you know it, you're operating like one of these people who's no longer an entrepreneur, but is ready to go work for a fucking paycheck for $40,000 a year and work 40 hours a week, which is fucking insanity to me. That's the danger of dipping your stance even a little bit because you never know when disaster is going to strike. This shit happens in life, right? You're walking along the street, bam, you get between, if you know, it's a lump of shit, right? It just happens. And if you're one of those people that's going to say, fuck it, I'm, I might as well just settle for less, you're done. 